Right, I'm wanting to de-rust this burner chuck. It really hasn't got much rust on it at all. It's a very, very light surface rust. So I'm just going to strip this out and um, run this through the evaporust tank. These bolts simply are locked in place with the head of that bolt. On the side here there's a screw. I'm presuming that is going to release the ball race mechanism. Or it's going to let the ball races come out. Well, that's all one big lump. I'll give that a quick de-dust and a wipe off and get rid of the oil. That can be washed up. <coughs> nice the keyway slot has actually got a fixing it to stop it coming out. Thirty-nine. Right, so there we are. There were the major components. So they're going in the tank. I've got a full set of chucks, but I think this is the only one that's been used and. Looking at it, it really hasn't been used that much. EC3 one eighth Bernard. I know it's a Bernard chuck anyway, but England. These look like they're buggers to strip, so I'm not going to take these apart. I've got all sorts of bits in here at the moment. Uh, some more mill cutters. Um, this is a thread cutting unit. Which I might leave in there, I might turn over again because it looks like it's... Um, can't quite get it under the surface. Um, a long pair of um, mechanical type calipers and parts of the Bernard chuck. So I'm going to take them out. I think I'll take the chuck parts out first and um, reassemble them.
So I just wash these parts down. I'm going to give them a blow off of an airline. And then I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to come back to this in a second. So I'm going to reassemble the um, burner chuck. It's cleaned up rather well. Um, all the ground surfaces are really good. What I'm not impressed with though, and I've still got yet to check this, is this is the chuck that I dropped in there. This seems to be the only chuck that has been used in this unit. But as you can see, nice clean bare metal but when I put it in there it looked like that zinc coated and the zinc has all gone so this is a brand new one I've taken out the bag just for comparison but it's like what the hell so I wasn't really planning on taking this apart but now I've got to feel like I've got to because if there's zinc debris laying around in there it's not ideal but not impressed with that so I'm going to have to conduct a test just to make sure it wasn't my imagination but I'm pretty sure this was zinc coated and it says nothing on the package about zinc So I'm going to take that apart in a minute. In the meantime, put this back together. Now there's a line on these, and when I took them apart you couldn't see the line, it was just below the surface, so that's how I'm putting them back together and hopefully that will work out okay. It's not a hard job to test them.
there we have it. Right, that's the last of the free screws that hold this in, I presume. No, that's pretty grotty. Well, at least that's proved my point. So behind this, you can still see the zinc coloured, slightly yellow. When you compare that with this, just bare metal. So the evaporator has taken the bloody zinc off. Well, at least I can give that a good clean out in there. So I've cleaned this up, I've just washed it out with some kerosene and if I get this in the light in the right place you should be able to see where the cap on the back here where it has protected it, it's still zinc coated but from there on everywhere the evaporus has got to it's removed the zinc. Now, now it's clean you can just see just there, there's still a little bit of zinc there. And there's a couple of other places that I've spotted some, but pretty much it's removed all the zinc coating off this chuck or off this collet. So, all in all, I'm pretty disappointed with that. So it says safe on all surfaces and will not harm copper, brass, aluminium plastic, rubber or vinyl. So they're not saying it doesn't protect, uh, doesn't touch zinc but they're not saying please avoid zinc. And so many metal parts are zinc coated these days I would have thought that would have been a very good point to put on here will remove zinc. So I'm extremely disappointed. Right, so that's the collet back together.
So one thing I've got to do is find the chuck key. All nicely tucked away in the drawer, the whole set of collets and the chuck.